Good morning, everyone. This is Hansa. I know you can't tell I'm not glamorous. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. I am in the hospital. I am um, hopefully on my way out. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm in my room now. My veggies are cooked and it's time to take off this uniform and eat me some dinner. Okay, hands are washed. Food is waiting for me, but before I eat, let me show you what I packed for this trip. It's a three day and this is what I brought with me to eat. We have four tangerines, one apple, some table salt. This is my tomatoes, onions, and um, avocado. This is a hamburger with um, grilled onions in here, which I plan to eat with uh, my other veggies, which is um, Italian zucchini, the, the red and the I mean the the green and the yellow with onions there's a pat of butter in there the Amish butter and then for snacking I have salami and I have um, different kinds of cheeses in there I have two pepper jacks two of the uh, what is that Colby I don't know and cheddar but uh, yeah this is what I brought with me including my um, meal that I'm gonna eat tonight. It's 12.41 right now. This is my dinner. And it's the squash, the green and yellow. And then this one has onions and little potatoes. I'm saving the hamburger meat for tomorrow to eat with my other veggies. There you go. Mm-hmm, little potatoes. So good. That Amish butter that I bought is like a whole brick. I think it was like $8, $9, something like that. But you can really tell the difference between like, you know, other butters and the real thing. <laughs> So, I recommend, highly recommend Amish butter. This one's an eyeliner. This one is a um, metallic eyeliner liquid. This is a crayon. It makes the colors pop more when you put a, a cream base first. I have a single uh, green eyeshadow and I'll show you why. Okay, so here, um, this is almost all gone. There's like barely any in there. So I brought this to put underneath my eyes for my eye bags. Mascara, this is from Thrive. My face powder, different lipstick colors. And these are the ones that are 24 hours. They don't go anywhere. And then um, setting spray, hairspray, and for my eyes, um, this is 
from Lime Crime and these are the colors and they're all metallic gorgeous gorgeous and then for my face I got this one um, it's from Marc Jacobs this one has blush bronzing powder and a highlight so this is everything I brought with me to do my makeup on this trip so I have a few minutes before I have to start getting ready for work and I want to say hi how are you guys doing it's a couple of days before Christmas probably by the time I put this out will be after Christmas because um, Tonight, I have one leg from here to San Juan, Puerto Rico, where I will stay for only like 10 hours, and then I come back uh, home Christmas Eve. I'll be get, arriving around 10 o'clock at night, so by the time I come home, it'll be late, late. Uh, you, you guys know I have to drive about two hours to get home, and so by the time i get there it'll probably be close to midnight and it'll already be christmas so i'll probably put in some footage here of my christmas day with the family i am spending it first with my son and then with my brother his wife and my niece and my nephew so you'll get to see a little bit of that <laughs>
guys up with what's been going on. Um, in case you didn't know, some of you do know already, but um, I have actually been sick um, this past year, 2020, or this year, yeah. And I'm gonna insert footage here of my hospital stay so you guys can see. So let me tell you how I ended up here. There's some noise out there. Um, I was at the grocery store. I went to um, purchase some, you know, things for Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, and while I was at the checkout counter, um, I started to get, like, I started to feel like I was fainting, right? Uh, and I immediately looked at the cashier and I told her, I says, I think I'm going to faint. And then I speed dialed my son and I was like, come and get me right now. So while that's happening, they went and got me a chair, which was great because I was having a tough time, like trying to stay up, uh, standing. And so, um, I went to, you know, I, I sat down and um, they closed the, the lane that I was at so nobody else could get behind me and so that I could take my time to recoup. And um, so it took a couple of minutes, but I was able to compose myself. I told them to just continue ringing me up. You know, there's no reason for them to stop what they were doing. So they continued to ring me up while I just um, re regained my composure. And um, by the time they were done, I paid and I was starting to feel a tiny bit better. So then I just, I, you know, they offered to stay with me or let me sit there or, you know, uh, whatever. But I told him I had called my son and he was on his way. So it took my son a couple of minutes. He got there and, um, you know, and then he was like, mom, you're going to the emergency. And I'm like, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I almost fainted at the grocery store. And, uh, so I got to the hospital and, um, for the anemia, um, these numbers are loose, but the, let's just put it this way. So like the, a normal amount of whatever numbers they're looking for is, it's like a 12. And when I came into the hospital, I was at a five. So I was less than half of what my body should have. And, um, and so, yeah, even before this whole thing happened, I was having like dizzy spells, um, at work, you know, when I'm going through, um, bringing my luggage and stuff through, uh, terminals and going from one place to the other, I was like winded. I couldn't even keep up. Like even the older ladies were walking faster than me or older people, um, and so I knew that, you know, my anemia was returning with a vengeance. Um, and I was planning on seeing my doctor. So I called my doctor a few days ago and I, I tried to make an appointment, but they couldn't see me until like a week later. And then, um, you know, lo and behold, I go to the grocery store and I almost faint. So, um, you know, that's, that's why I ended up in the ER and um, I had two whole bags of blood on the first day so plus iron so they gave me two blood transfusions plus a bag of iron and that was on day one and then on the next day um, my levels uh, well the they checked my blood and my levels went up and so they went up to I think like an eight but then the next day it went back down to a seven so I'm, I'm losing I'm losing blood and uh, so then they gave me another transfusion. Um, so I've had three on this particular stay. I've had um, prior to this year again. It was um, back in April. I had a um, I had another episode where I spent some time at the in the ER, and I had a blood transfusion at that time as well. Um, so yeah, it's been happening, and. Um, that's why I'm here. They're trying to figure out what's happening or whatever. So I had a couple of procedures done yesterday. Um, they scoped me and looked in there and I, I have a stomach ulcer. Um, and so that's that. So that may be one of the reasons why I'm losing blood. But um, 
yeah uh that's basically what brought me here i um almost fainted at the grocery store um and uh e even before that you know because this is like thanksgiving week i didn't want to call out you know because i know that a lot of people a lot of you know they call out during the holidays nobody wants to work you know for christmas or thanksgiving or whatever so i just i felt horrible i told my son it's like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna tough it out i'm gonna work this last trip which fell into thanksgiving i would have been back from my trip on Thanksgiving morning. So I still would have been home in time for Thanksgiving. Um, and I didn't want to call out. Uh, so, but yeah, he was like, no, we're going to the emergency room right now. <laughs> and uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that he insisted. So, but yeah, I've been here a few days and uh, cross your fingers. They will let me out today. Just, um, they took my blood out this morning. Hopefully my levels didn't decrease again and um, I'll be okay enough for them to let me go. We'll see. I mean, I was hooked up to an IV and I was getting fluids 24 seven the entire time that I was there. So yeah, um, you know, my, um, my energy level was like at a low point um, with anemia. It was just, horrific horrific and you know you try to push through but um so you know that's why i've been kind of um on and off on and off with vlogging this year because it's just i just haven't had the energy to do anything um i've been dealing with it pretty much all year long but um luckily this time um they've given me different medicines uh, aside from heavy dosages of iron that i have to take now um also, another thing that uh, they have found is that I may have, I'm not 100% sure if I do because I haven't seen the doctor since, but um, I may have celiac disease, which is uh, an intolerance to gluten. Oh, I have an ulcer in my stomach. <laughs> I have a bulging disc. Um, I have uh, bladder stones. Like, they found so many things on the inside. I was like, what? I mean, you know, I'm just glad it's not uh, cancer. I'm glad it's not um, diabetes. But yeah, who knew? I have all these things. So yeah, that's what's been going on. But luckily, I've been feeling a lot better since I got out this time. And um, I'm hoping that um, this is the last of it. Hopefully, I can manage and I won't regress to the point where, you know, I'm going to be getting... Um, blood transfusions again or getting in you know having to be admitted into the ER again because that sucks my veins can't take it <laughs> um, so anyways I am um, have to get ready put on my uniform and like I said I'm going to Puerto Rico but only for 10 hours so I will see you guys there okay. let's go to work All by myself. Ready for work. <laughs> Puerto Rico, here I come. Alrighty, everybody, let's see what we have. Ooh, this is new. Paraíso. We are in Puerto Rico. Let's see. Okay. 
that's the time y'all almost 2 a.m and i gotta be back um shuttle is at 11 25 tv fridge and micro and these windows have like velcro so they're like um so the light doesn't come in But I like to open it so I can see what I'm looking at. And I've never had this view before. Hmm. I think this is like the back of the hotel. I'm not sure. Let me go on this side. Oh, there's the water. Nice. Okay, so that's where the boats dock. And that's across the street. Nice. There you go. Quick overview. This is my room. Okay. I have my veggies cooking right now. So, even though it's 2 a.m., um, that's what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat some veggies and I got a, the hamburger uh bun or you know the hamburger patty which is made from angus beef so that's what it's going to be for dinner i already had some oj to replenish uh, my vitamin c and um puerto rico doesn't really have that many good stations on the tv so i'll probably just to make myself busy um scrolling through the internet so that's what's on the plan for tonight i have about um maybe seven good hours of sleep if i go to sleep now so which is not going to happen and then tomorrow i have two legs so tomorrow i go from puerto rico back to philadelphia and i work that flight and then um from philly to orlando I am deadheading, which means that um, I get to sit down and enjoy my time. So I will definitely uh, try to get a window seat so that I can show you guys some of the views uh, that I love to see when I'm flying. So um, that's what's the agenda for tomorrow. I'll see you later. Good morning, good morning. Take a look. There's a big ship. It wasn't there last night. I don't think so. Let's see. It's not really the beach. It's just the dock. But it's nice just to see a little bit of Caribbean Sea. Make me some coffee. This. Look at this. One of the best coffees out there. I grew up drinking this stuff. <laughs> That's why I'm so short. 